Passive House is a very new thing to Octavia. We completed our first Passive House accredited project back in March 2011, and that was a Passive House refurb. Sawgrave Gardens is, is our first and largest um, Passive House scheme that we've, we've looked at. Well, Passive House, I believe, has been around about 30 years as a, as a concept, and it's, it's a way of designing buildings with a very low energy consumption in mind. It's different to what we usually do in terms of eco-build. It's a fabric-first approach with very high insulated walls, um, qu top quality windows with very low U-values and um, a very good standard of living as well with a little bit of tech inside for the fresh air. Essentially, you're looking at uh, having very high levels of air tightness, very high levels of fabric insulation. So the fabric is so well insulated, the heat losses are so low that a couple of light bulbs or two people are sufficient to keep a living room warm. And a flat screen television would probably heat the whole house. The Solgo Gardens is a um, very tight, small site, sandwiched between two conservation areas. So we had a lot of um, dealings with the planners, a lot of the surrounding areas, brickwork. So they wanted us to stick with brickwork, and brickwork for passive houses brings up a whole set of other issues. Passive houses would normally be a sort of render finish, which would have been a lot easier. Also, the adjacent sites are on a higher level, so we had a lot of retaining wall situations and party walls, which would have been complicated on any job, but even more so on the passive house. We think we need to produce excellent quality homes that really benefits our rented residents, our shared ownership residents and also our private buyers. We want to have something which really lowers people's fuel bills and creates a really quality environment. We're particularly selling to young families, so obviously they're keen to take advantage of the low energy bills in particular. Um, but there's another factor as well, which is um, allergies, um, hay fever, that sort of thing is rife these days. With the fresh air ventilation system, they can take advantage of not having to worry about um, hay fever because they can keep all their windows closed in the properties and still have fresh air circulating air. I think people are going to benefit from living in a passive house as soon as they move in. Because of the triple glazing and high levels of insulation, the noise reduction is fantastic. They're going to be in a, a, a lovely clean environment with fresh pre-warmed air and it's just going to be a very different experience to how a lot of people currently live in London. Well, it's important that sustainable housing is for everyone, not just for those who can afford it. So that's what Octavia are trying to promote in their schemes, um, sustainable homes for everyone. I think one thing we can be absolutely sure of is that fuel bills will rise dramatically over the, the coming years, over the coming decade. And I think looking at a fabric first approach where we can actually reduce bills dramatically without putting in lots of expensive difficult to maintain kit is just really the way forward.